my folks Richard, hope you're doing very well today. So um, I wanted to cover the strum tool and some of the key commands that we use within the piano roll and how we use them and what order we use them in, which I think is the thing that people are struggling with at the moment. So the idea with the new strum tool is that we can take a note and then we can expand it out to produce a strummed chord. Um, extremely useful if you're using um, piano, guitar libraries, or anything where you would expect to see a strum, like a harp, for example. Now, when we're doing this, it's important to remember that both in the arranger window and the piano roll, that if we press the control or command key, it gives us an alternative tool that we can use. Uh, for most people, and generally speaking, you'll find that in the piano roll, if you press the control or command key, it will give you a pencil tool, which enables you to drawing notes like that, depending on the quantization setting. For example, if that's set to one eighth, I'll get those longer notes. So with that in mind, um, how do we get to use the strum tool accurately? Um, well, basically, the most important thing to bear in mind is that if we are taking a chord or, or producing a chord, we can do that without the scale function on. I've currently got this set as D major and we can just draw in the chord the way that we want to. But what I recommend doing, just as a test for yourself, is just turn this on temporarily and experiment with this. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So let's just assume that we want to create a chord. Well, we'll start with D, as we're in D major. And you can use that pencil tool or the arrow tool and just double click in the area. Great. That creates a note. And um, what people um, I see are doing is then they're pressing Control and Alt and then the left mouse button and not getting anything. And the reason for that is because this is for the controlling of the velocity. Which is great in itself. Um, extremely useful if you've got um, a very complex piano part or string part and you'd like to make um, an adjustment just to one of the notes without having to worry about what's happening under here in the velocity section. So well, how do we go about creating uh, a chord then? Well let's take that D and when we put in the note keep the left mouse selected. When you do this, you'll see that the cursor changes to that pencil tool. When it does that, press Control and then Alt, and then that pencil tool will now have a little underscore next to it. And we can move the cursor with these still held down, and we can create a repeating pattern. What we can also do is we can go up and down and create a chord. And the whole time we're doing this, the Control and the Alt key are pressed, as is the left mouse button. And we can also go in a diagonal fashion, both up and down. Let's create the chord first of all. We'll just do a triad here with three notes. Let's see what it sounds like just on its own. Okay, so that's the chord. What we now have to do is, with these selected, take your hand off the keyboard, just press the left mouse button, and you'll see the color of them change. Now what you want to do is press the Control and Alt key with that left mouse button held down, and start to drag, and that will create the strum. And that's it. Let's just assume that we take our finger off the mouse and our hands off the keyboard and just select those notes. Press the control and the alt key. We're not selecting anything here. And control the velocity. 
take our hand off the keyboard and just click on the top note now press the control and alt key or the command and option and drag that creates the strum and if we feel that we've done too much and we'd like to go back we can press control or command z and we can take that back right back to the chord now i've often seen people saying well you need to turn quantize off well you don't really need to do that because it's an extra step that is not needed what you can do however is let's say we select something like 64th notes which is pretty quick let's do something like we did originally and we'll create a triad so we'll double click in here hold down the mouse nothing with the keyboard and then press Control and alt and create the chord and let go and you've created the chord now what you're going to do is you're going to hand off the keyboard left click the mouse on the top note now press Control and alt or command and option and drag across and this way you're going to create a much much tighter strum if in this example you can see that the velocity of the notes looks a little bit uh, different we can drag them up that way or we can press Control and alt and change them that way or even maybe more naturally what we could do is we could um, randomize these or we could take one of the parabolic curves and have them go up a little tip for you if you are working with notes and you're not particularly a proficient piano player or it doesn't require you to play piano um, when you play in a note with the pencil tool hold down just the control or the command key and that will enable you to move that note around in real time hope that helps um, have a lovely day and i'll see you very soon take care bye, -bye.